Dear students, now we are going to discuss reflection losses occurred in zero dissipation line at high frequency range. If the transmission line is not terminated with its characteristics impedance, that is the receiving end impedance ZR is not equal to the characteristics impedance, then the reflection takes place. The combination of incident wave and the reflect wave forms a standing waves in the transmission line which is unwanted one right so here because of the reflection there may be some reduction in the power delivered to the load that is known as reflection loss do you all understand this due to the reflection the energy delivered to the load is reduced from its original value that is known as reflection loss now we are going to analyze the reflection loss value in terms of power. For that we can consider the standing wave ratio that is equal to V max by V min. So here V max is nothing but the maximum voltage of the standing wave. It is nothing but the sum of incident and reflected voltages. Okay. Then the minimum voltage V min can be obtained by subtracting the reflected voltage from the incident voltage. Okay, so we can get the standing wave in terms of incident and reflected wave voltages like this. So here V max is equal to V i plus V r. V min is equal to V i minus V r. Okay, and consider the total power of the transmission line. So here P is equal to V max into V min divided by R naught. What is the value of V max? V i plus V r. V min value is V i minus V r. So here we can use A plus B into A minus B is equal to A square minus B square. So V i square minus V r square divided by R naught. P is equal to V i square by R naught minus V r square by R naught. R naught is the characteristics impedance for the zero dissipation line okay so here we can represent this v i squared by r naught is nothing but the incident power v r squared by r naught is the reflected power you all understand this is the power of the incident wave this is the power of the reflected wave so here the total power delivered to the load is equal to p i minus p r that means we have to subtract the amount of reflected power from the incident power that is the power delivered to the load okay so here we can represent pi is the incident wave power pr is the reflected wave power next we are going to calculate the reflection loss in due to the mismatch condition so it is the ratio of power delivered to the load to the power transmitted by the incident wave you will understand so out of the total incident wave power how much is getting delivered that is the reflection loss okay so here reflection loss is equal to p divided by pi p means power delivered to the load whatever we have already derived divided by total power transmitted so here we can represent the p as pi minus pr divided by pi then we can take this value as individual 1 pi divided by pi minus pr divided by pi. Okay, we can get the value as 1 minus pr divided by pi. That is the ratio of reflected power to the incident power. That can also be written as vr squared by vi squared. Okay, so here this term vr by vi can be written as k. That is equal to s minus 1 plus s yes, plus 1. P by Pi is equal to 1 minus K square. K can be replaced with the value S minus 1 by S plus 1. So here we can further simplify the term like this. That is S plus 1 the whole square minus S minus 1 the whole square divided by S plus 1 the whole square. We can expand this to formulas. Then we can get S square plus 2S plus 1 minus S square minus 1 plus 2S. Correct? Here it is A plus B the whole square. Here it is a minus b the whole square okay then this s square this s square cancel then plus 1 minus 1 cancel we can get the value as 4 yes correct so pl that is power delivered to the load that is pl divided by pi is equal to 4 yes divided by s plus 1 the whole square so we come to know that so whenever this ratio is high 
there is a maximum amount of power delivered to the load correct so here we can obtain the reflection loss easily by comparing these two values okay this is the diagram which represents the reflection loss as a function of vswr as we all know that whenever the vswr that is standing wave ratio is smaller then the power delivered to the load is maximum correct so if the vswr value is high the power delivered to the load is very low these two are inversely proportional okay so this is the relation between the power delivered to the load and the vswr in terms of reflection loss okay we need